Welcome back to the Union Berlin career mode here on FC24. It's properly crunch time now. January transfer window done. New signings in. Some unexpected, certainly. Uh, we spent a lot of money. We lost someone we weren't expecting to lose with the release clause met as well. But now it's time to crack on with the league and the cup. Quarterfinal against Bochum to begin with. Ourselves and Dortmund are the favourites at the moment. Although Dortmund's opponents, Holstein Kiel have knocked out both Leipzig and Bayern in the past two rounds. So do not underestimate them. I'm very intrigued to see what happens in this first game, uh, or match day at least, not necessarily the game. We expect to beat Bochum because we'll be simming that. We'll play Leipzig, we'll play we'll play Bayern, and we'll probably play Mütze Gladbach because that will probably be the more difficult game. We'll sim Bochum and we'll sim Hertha. I don't like simming the derby, but... Uh, just with the way that the fixes are going to fall and keeping things regimented, it's just the easiest way to go about doing things. Of course, new signing Kevin De Bruyne is now into the starting lineup, although he'll be coming out of the starting lineup for this next game uh, as he's quite clearly not quite fit enough. We need to change that to there. And then he'll be fit enough moving forward, but we'll start with Bochum and then we'll take on Dortmund. After was it Dortmund? No, it was Leipzig after that, wasn't it? It's just going to be a bloody difficult month, basically. Uh, as ever, saying thank you to you guys for your continued support in the comment section and live on stream as well. Thank you very much for that. Today we're saying thank you to Diego Diaz, who's in green. We're also saying thank you to Sim Central YT, who's in red. And to Benedict Afiemo as well. Thank you very much indeed to you, Benedict. You're in yellow today. Thank you for your support in the comment section. Do keep those comments coming. We are going to crack on now with the episode as we push further forward. Points on the board, progression in the cup, thumbs up, everyone's happy. Bochum with their five at the back. It says their form is win, 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 but that's just their form in this cup competition, not actually their form all told, factoring in league games as well, because that's why there's two question marks there. So they've obviously had to go win, win, win to get to this point in the cup competition, so that's no surprise. Five back, beatable side, goes without saying, let's go and beat it. Bailey. Baku, Martial takes in his stride well. He's in the box. Tony! Tony Marshall scores again. FC Union leading the cup. 1-0! Bailey and Brandt. Julian scores his first goal in an Union Berlin shirt. And we lead by two goals to nil in the 15th minute. This side are scoring a lot of goals right now. Bailey's on the run through the gap. Quickly to Martial. Little ball back to Baku. Well, this is nice. Oh. 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 It is delicious! We're only in the 19th minute. We're 3 0 up already. So good. Yeah. Well, all right. We're having fun now. We're really having fun in Berlin. Space. Mendy into space. Lots of people to aim for. Oh, not. Oh, I didn't see that cut back. You're offside, aren't you, Bailey? No, he's not. He's on. Okay, this is an absolute rout now. It's 4-0 in just the 29th minute. Jesus Christ, Bochum. Have some respect for yourselves. Vitek. And Sturger. So, uh, nice. Hoffman. They're in. Oh, they've got one back. The comeback's on. Bochum. Wildly celebrating in the snow as if they weren't 4-1 down. <laughs> I think we're going through to the semis, lads. I'm more intrigued to see if Holstein Kiel have uh, been able to knock out Dortmund as well. If they have, it's the most remarkable cup run you've ever seen. I don't ant anticipate that they will have done. Jesus Christ, Riddler Baku loves an unbelievable... That's the third solo run like that Riddler Baku has scored this season. To everybody that told me he should be at right back, not left wing, shush. Look at Nets and back to Baku. Inside to Kai Havertz. There could be a sixth on the way. Bailey, Martial, surely yes. In the 90th minute, we do make it 6-1 for the biggest win of the season. Sorry, Bochum. You'll have been quite excited about being in the Cup's uh, quarter-final, I imagine. But all of that uh, anticipation and hope has very much disappeared. 
Surely, boy, surely came from France. Something, something, something else. Something, something else again. Tony Marshall scores again. Final whistle sounds. Booze from the Bochum fans. Oh, God. Human centipede going on in the tunnel or something. And I think loads of people got in on the act there. Two goals and an assist. Three 10 out of 10s in the same game. Two goals and an assist for Baku and Martial. The other way around for Leon Bailey. Sutic got an assist. Brandt got a goal and an assist as well. Five players contributing to a 6-1 win. That will do. However, most important thing next is Leipzig. So hold your breath because that's going to be pretty intense. We will have a look and see if Holstein Kiel were able to do it against Dortmund. I really desperately hope they were. I've given the wrong answer there. Sorry, Tony. I wasn't concentrating properly. Let's advance as far as the Leipzig game. Tournament money has been awarded. That means that it has been done. We are top of the table on goal difference at the moment ahead of Bayern Munich. And oh, they didn't do it. But we've got Hoffenheim. I would have liked St. Pauli. But it looks like it's going to be a Berlin-Dortmund final by the looks of things, doesn't it? St. Pauli beating FC Köln by two goals to one. Dortmund put an end to Holstein, Holstein Kiel's run of the uh, giant killings by beating them by three goals to one. And now hopefully we'll go and do that to Leipzig as well. And their starting lineup. Has Callum Wilson back in it, actually, which is intriguing. They've gone with him rather than Kyung Min Son this time around, who's dropped to the bench. Outside of that, actually, you know, Acuna at left back rather than a Stupinian. Uh, and then Bryce Sammer in goal ahead of Gulashi this time around. So a few changes, actually, from the last time we played them and beat them. But they're still going to be pretty damn good, aren't they? Danny Olmo into the gap to Seivald. A little flick to Danny Olmo again. And he skipped past Alvarez. I was trying to change to De Bruyne. It wouldn't let me. Danny Oma with unbelievable agility and balance to get past the tackle. But Ginter finally steps in and gets the ball away. Leipzig played a very hard press against me last time. It was more on possession loss than it was a constant press. But it certainly wasn't fun to play against. And I have a funny feeling it'll be something similar here again. So I'm anticipating a particularly difficult game. And whilst we would love to get the win to stay top of the table, if we do only get a point, it's still going to be a decent result, isn't it, ultimately? Ginter through the gap there. Oh, Sutic turns wonderfully. And look at the space for Carlos Augusto all the way out wide there on the left-hand side. Got rid of Baku, tuck central here, and then there's going to be many an option forward, including Enizu. Now will reach Sutic, going to get it to Kai Havertz, yes. Space then for Ferlamendi, and a little dink into the middle, looking for Enizu. Now who just tries to help it on its way. But can't keep it down over the bar. Now, Ferreira coming forward. Alvarez being called upon heavily in that CDM role this season. That wasn't a slight tackle. That was a fall over next to him tackle. Havertz, thankfully, steps in. Misses that. Ferlamendi's in the way there. And now we can get... Well, rid of it was the plan. Callum Wilson steps in. Seivald spins well. Zaver Schlager. Oh, lovely... Save is what it is. It's lovely movement by Danny Olmo. It's a ridiculous save from Karnaseki. He's got no right to stop that whatsoever. That should be 1-0 Leipzig. Zavo Schlager with the corner. Baku's up. Just gets it away from Danny Olmo. Not Danny Olmo. Lois Appender. Sutic will look to play this in front of Carlos Augusto. And from their corner, we could have a bit of a decent counter-attack here. But it is Hakimi that's with me. So we won't be outpacing him. Riddler Baku's shown great dribbling skills so far this season. Though, and Havertz will look here for Ferlamendi. I'll actually tuck this back to Kai, who's then got Sutic, who can look to bend this home. And Bryce Samba makes a good save from end to end this game at the moment. But the ball won't go in for either side. Can we change that with Kai? Yes, we can. A carbon copy of his first goal for the club. And a little dance and a hop. And a thank you very much, sir. Yusufa Makoko on for Callum Wilson for Leipzig. That will change the dynamic up top because now they've got two slightly smaller, sl slightly quick players playing in that front line. Callum Wilson is no slouch, don't get me wrong, but he's not as quick as he used to be. And he's a bit more of a, a physical handful. Mukoko can kind of slip under the radar. Same as. Actually, I don't know how tall a pender is. I think a pender's only like 5'9, five, 5'10, five, maybe slightly smaller. But at the moment, no one has been able to force their way past our defensive line other than a pender. 
and he fluffed his lines earlier. Yusuf Makoko is fluffing nothing. That's 1-1, one, one, and he's come off the bench and had the desired impact. Bollocks. Of course, it's his first goal in six games, Yusuf Makoko. Absolutely bloody typical. He's barely played this season. Hasn't scored. And then the one time he plays against me is when he decides, actually, you know what? I'm going to put the ball in the back of the net. One more. Kai. Oh, I just delayed a little bit too much. Wanted to make sure I got a clean shot or enough power on it. And in the end, I got really neither. Not enough power to beat the man and not enough space to beat the man either. That's a good chance. We might not get a better one to go, really? Ferlamendi's not going to keep up with that, is he not? Okay. Not, might not get a better chance to go 2 on up in this game. And they might be getting a chance to go 2 on up themselves here. Acuna and Mukoko seem to forget the football for a, a brief moment. We get a little bit lucky. A bit more power on that to find Riddler back out. Sutic, Kai's now going. It's gone all end to end again. Go on, Ferlin, get to that. Jesus Ferreira is apparently really annoying. We'll have Diogo Leite, De Bruyne. Okay, Kevin De Bruyne's first touch, letting him down. That's not exactly what we got you in the team to do there, Kev, is it, lad? We're supposed to have one of the best touches in world football, let alone just this pitch. Kai Havertz is a bit quick, though. Oh, no! Unbelievable. How's that not gone in, then? Beautifully set up on the left foot for the finesse into the corner. And he's fluffed it. Sutic back to Baku. Baku. And as you now get it out wide to Carlos Augusto. He'll then whip a delivery, which is decent, but too close to Bryce Samba. Oh, I can't believe I've not scored a second goal in this game. Well in, Kai. Havertz finds Sutic. Here comes Unel. Just need to time it right. We'll go that side, the defender. No! It was still meant for Unel! Uh, fuck you, game. Win that header. Oh, final whistle sounds. It's a 1-1 draw. Didn't realise the time as we were trying to play that ball through to Enes Unel. And by misplacing it, I've lost my last chance to get a winner. We did enough there to... To justify being able to take that victory, I think. Seven shots to their four. Ah, oh, Bayern drew as well, thankfully. So we get a bit of a let off with Bruce Mucci and Gladbach and Hertha and Bayern still to come. Really need to make sure we at least beat Bayern so that we can maybe afford to not beat one of the other two. Hertha next. Hertha Berlin with four defeats in their last five games. You can understand why this is the one that we're choosing to sim of the Bundesliga games we have on offer today. If we can get as strong a result here as we have done in our other sims, we'll be very, very happy. We have a week's break between every fixture at the moment, but I think it would still be fair to give some players, some fringe players, some more first team football. And quite frankly, we want to make sure that we rotate the squad enough so that we keep most people happy. I have had some players come and whinge a little bit that they're not getting enough first-team football. So we'll try and keep some people happy whilst not risking results at the same time. And Ezunal is in behind here. Short there is De Bruyne. And Ezunal, Julian Brandt. Kev on the run. Kevin De Bruyne! On the score sheet for the first time as an Union Berlin player. You love to see it. Changed his number to number 14, which is what he wore in his loan spell at Wolfsburg when he last played in the Bundesliga. It's also the number that he wears on international duty with Belgium, I believe. Although I might be mistaken there. But I think so. Lovely outside the boot finish into the bottom corner. Good. That's what we needed at the beginning of this one. It's nice. Oh, it's really well put together. Uni Brandt isn't rapid, but is he fast enough? Doesn't need to be if his teammate's going to play a nice one too with him. Could have finished well, though. Corner from De Bruyne instead. How's the delivery, Kev? Yeah, not bad. Kempf with a decent header, though. Almasrati battling hard. Ginter. Don't you try it from there, mate. Brandt. Oh, oh what a ball! What a save! Jesus Christ. De Bruyne got support. 
Brandt. Oh, he's beaten his man. Surely he couldn't miss from there, could he really, Julian? Kev with a goal. Kev with an assist. Union with the Berlin Derby win. Al Maserati. Bailey. Options of a through ball. Options to just play a 1 2 off a defender. That's a disgusting assist. Kevin De Bruyne has another. Leon Bailey's taking the piss. As are we. 3 0. A fourth to add a bit of gloss to the tie, maybe. Lovely through ball. Enezunal hasn't scored today, has he? I don't think. He might get an assist, though. No, good save by Ernst. And we might well get that fourth to pop the cherry on top of the cake. Cake that will see one half of Berlin fans. Good save by Ernst again. Eating well tonight. After this derby game. And the other half of Berlin are going to be very, very sad indeed. Crying into their soup. Baku, lovely chest control. He's still going. That'll be game though. 3-0 we win. Which at the moment is a remarkably low amount of goals for us to score against lesser opposition. And unfortunately for Hertha, they certainly are lesser opposition. Leipzig win. Leverkusen win. Didn't see what Bayern did. They haven't played yet, that's why. We've got them next. What did they do on match day 20? They won, of course they did. So we are four points clear of Wolfsburg. So we can afford to not win this game and stay top. But we do need to not lose it at the same time. We absolutely must avoid defeat here against Bayern. We felt aggrieved to have lost 1-0 last time we played them. We have to respect them though. But we will go into this game trying to set the record straight. And get the result this time to keep ourselves top of the table. And not lose that top spot to them. Pavlovic in the midfield for them. Harry Kane and Muziala. Jeremy Pino and Serge Gnabry. Kimmich Salih, Konate and Guerrero. Diogo Costa injured, however. A goalkeeping injury for them. And Manuel Neuer is back between the sticks. The bench is ridiculous, isn't it? Bernardo Silva, Balde, Joao Felix, Varane, Coman, Thomas Muller. Yeah, they're, um, they're pretty strong, Bayern. But so are we now. So are we. So let's go and get at least a point, please, and stay top. This is uh, quite an important game, I think, for the overall picture of the Bundesliga title this season. Need to really make sure, oh my God, Serge Gnabry, that we're able to get, not necessarily a win. I just cannot afford to lose this game, really. We got lucky last time that when Bayern beat us, strong challenge from Tony Cruz. We were lucky last time that when Bayern beat us, they went on to have a little bit of a dodgy run themselves. We probably won't get that le that measure of luck a second time around. Baku out here to Carlos Augusto with the ball in. And who now up against the defender. And Konate not only comes out on top in that encounter, but also wins the goal kick. Bastard. It's just not much room here. Kai. Mm, somehow still going, Kai Havertz. I don't know how I've done that. Merlin Mendy looking for Sutic, finding him. Sutic finds De Bruyne. De Bruyne finds Riddler Baku. Baku's in. Riddler Baku! Straight at Neuer. How good is Neuer in a third season? I know Diogo Costa. I expect Diogo Costa to be better. 79 rated only Manuel Neuer in goal. And Alexander Plavovic at 68 rated is in their midfield. Why the balls are they doing that? All right. Fair enough. Well, a 79 rated Neuer will still have exceptional positioning, but his diving and his reflexes, etc., certainly aren't going to be what they used to be, are they? We hope, anyway. Sorry, H, that's definitely a foul. I don't like the way I'm down to draw Matthias Ginter out of position either. Jeremy Pino played in. Nearly flattened. Ferland stands in the way. Thank you, Ferland. Have that as well, if you don't mind. Get that forward to Sutic, and then I want to try and get it to Kai if I can. Rafael Guerrero is really good technically, but one area where he's a little bit weaker is in pace. But with De Ligt and Konate in there, I just... Where's the ball gone? I don't fancy Enezunal aerially, so I'm going to have to try and get it to him on the floor. I could have crossed that, but I've tried it before. And Konate dominated him. And De Ligt is going to be just as good, if not better, than Ibrahima Konate in the air, isn't he? So, kind of nullifies my options, really. Not been able to find a way through on the floor, and we don't have the option to go through the air. So at the minute, this is as good as we're going to get against Bayern Munich. And at the moment, 
a nil-nil draw would be fine. I'd be happy with it. It would see us stay level on points with them and be at least two points clear of Wolfsburg behind us. But it's always nice to win, isn't it? Uh... And that's what Bayern are doing now. Jamal Muziala in the third minute of one added on at the end of the half. Because, of course, Bayern get themselves the goal. And it was Jamal Muziala last time as well, wasn't it? It's just that through ball from Harry Kane is just perfection. What can you do? Out to Kimmich. Back, who's done really well. All right, Riddler, here we go then. Where do I go with this, though? Through that gap, hopefully. Riddler back, who on a solo run again. And then is who now level. Riddler back, who, mate. It's really, really damned good as a winger. Genuinely, if you haven't tried him there before, do it. Because you can tell. You could just tell. He's genuinely exceptional there. It's Ennis who now gets the goal, but again, it's all about Ridla Baku in that left wing role. Slowing them up at least. Oh, the change in direction is excellent. I get lucky. I needed to get lucky twice, but we've gotten away with it. And Kai up against Konate. Look for Enezu now. Runners around me. De Bruyne. Excellent footwork from Big Kev. It's not rapid. Oh, that is a chop. You're in trouble, Tony. You're in real trouble. It's just a yellow card. He's a lucky boy. That was not a good challenge at all. It's Enezu now who's over it. It is definitely within shooting range. And you might well understand that I'm going to put Kevin De Bruyne on it. Kev, from here, three and a bit bars of power. Brilliant save by Neuer. De Bruyne, I was thinking about taking off for Julian Brandt, actually. Just add a bit more dynamism into the midfield in these later stages. Kai Havertz has done that a couple of times recently. Sutic, it sat up nicely for him, but it wouldn't settle for the volley in the end. Baku to Alvarez. Alvarez looking for Sutic. Sutic with the option out wide here. Carlos... Augusto, I need to go backwards. Ah, oh, I've only found Serge Gnabry. De Bruyne can't step in. And now Bayern break. What could have been a goal-scoring move for us. Still might end up being. Drop the shoulder, Kai. Round the outside. Kai Havertz. Gives Unionbel in the lead. He might have cost us a lot of money. But he's bloody good, Kai Havertz. Union Berlin 2. Bayern Munich 1. This might be the result that puts us one hand on the trophy. Here's Muziala and Serge Gnabry. Good block. Might be a game-winning block. I think it will be a game-winning block. Baku. Oh, Tony Kroos, what a tackle. Might not be a game-winning block. They might get one more chance. How long's added on, ref? Not that mattered at the end of the first half, eh? It's Harry Kane, forced out wide. Two minutes added on. We are into the second of those two minutes now. And Ferdinand Mendy intercepts. I'm just lumping this. Get it gone. Yes! That's a huge result for us to get a 2-1 win at home against Bayern. We've returned the favour. Not only do we have the advantage on goal difference, we've now nullified the difference in the head-to-head -head as well. And actually maybe swayed it in our favour by scoring more goals. It's 2-2 on aggregate, so to speak, between us. But I think it goes on goal scored before it goes head-to-head -head between the two sides. And us having scored more goals than them so far this season, I believe at this moment in time, is going to have us in a good position. Our goal difference is already stronger than theirs, I think. And to have gotten the win, there's huge. Now allows us a potential slip-up at some point. We obviously don't want to slip up, and we pray that it doesn't happen, but if we need to fall back on a slip-up, we can do. Oof. But Wolfsburg are uh, still wanting to be part of the picture, rather evidently. Munch and Gladbach are our next opponents. We've had the next round of the Super Cup, not the Super Cup, the Europa League, sorry, drawn, and we have Marseille. That is a winnable tie, for sure. And actually, considering this has got game, this is like a round that has teams that have come down from the Champions League in it, that's not a very strong round of 16, is it? Really? There's no, like, random Real Madrid or Barcelona or Juventus or something like that. Other than Aston Villa, maybe. Or West Ham or Leverkusen. 
we're up there with one of the favourites for the Europa League. The treble is still on. And we'll be one step closer to it if we can get a win against Mucin Gladbach as well. We lost to them, though, I think, last time we played them. By two goals to one, potentially. Or did we win that one by one goal to nil? It might have been Wolfsburg that we lost to. Let's have a quick look back through the calendar. Wolfsburg, we lost by two goals to one. And it was 2-1 two, two, to Mucin and Gladbach as well. That was the beginning of that three-game spell in the Bundesliga. Well, actually, the middle of the three-game spell. We went on that bit of a wobble. 0-0 nil, nil, Leverkusen, 2-1 Mucin and Gladbach, 1-0 Bayern. We're performing better this time. Let's keep that going. On a rat. Augusto outmuscles him and wins the ball, but still doesn't gain possession, weirdly. Erzchan, on a rat again. What's the point of leaning on him if you're just then going to fold like a wet lettuce? It's going to go out for a corner here. Onagrat will take it. It's not a great delivery. It's not a great clearance either. Ginter does make sure. Oh my god, what happened there? Rodrigo. Good save, Karnaseki. Very big stop. Everyone was too busy hurdling over anyone else to actually take control of the football then. Kiergar with the corner on the far side this time. Better delivery, better clearance. Advantage played in their favour. And Rodrigo looking to get away from Ferland Mendy. Here's Paulinho and Dolan and Rodrigo. What a challenge. They can scream for a penalty as much as they want. Matthias Ginter's not put in a better tackle in his entire career. And as you now, great first touch, turn, play the ball. I don't get lucky. 25 minutes in, this is a tense and tight affair again. I cannot get any of my passes to work at the minute. Real Don and Mbolo looking to get away. Oh, calm down, mate. I think that Tabaku has got some space to get into here, but we'll use Enezu now. Oh, excellent ball. Luka Sutic, surely from here. All about the assist. Eno Zunal is the reason why we're going to win silverware this season. Well in, Inez. Love this man. I always thought he wasn't good enough. Oh, <laughs> I've changed my mind. But Petrovic is pretty good too. Kai's up. Oh, Petrovic really is pretty good, isn't he? Jeez Louise, what a save. Kai Havertz is good aerially. I didn't expect him to be quite such a threat with the ball over the top. He's very good with his head, Kai Havertz. Not what I bought him for, but certainly we'll ha we're happy to utilise it. Not that it's worked on this occasion, anyway. Riddler back here with the turn. Sutic, De Bruyne. Havertz is there. Oh, good save again by Petrovic. Stop it, mate. Augusto with the delivery. Kai's up again. Stop it, mate! Half time. Fatou on for Dolan for them. It's a change they've made right at the very beginning of the second half. It's a change I'd like to make. It involves the scoreline, lads, if you don't mind. We'll use the right back first. Then go to Anezu now. And who's that man in the middle? It's Riddler Baku. Who now, with space. Here's Riddler. Ah! Oh, keeps on the floor! Jesus Christ, Petrovic! I think I need to buy him. It's better than everybody else we've ever seen ever. Oh, Diogo, it's over the bar. This has got Mucci and Gladbach equaliser or more because their goalkeeper is so damned good written all over it, doesn't it? Havertz with the tackle. Alvarez will just no nude. Nod to that in front of De Bruyne. And is now. Oh, nearly. He had McLeod beat for the turn, but not beaten for strength. Cameron does really well. Patreon player Cameron McLeod there at centre back for them now. Sutic in the box. Oh, when I beat, when I do finally beat the keeper, the woodwork's in the way. It won't go in for a second time here, and this has got Mucci and Gladbach equaliser written all over it now, doesn't it? This is going to end up being one of those games. You can just feel it in the air, can't you? Wait for it to come. Here we go. Paulinho from range. I genuinely thought that was going to find its way into the back of the net. It would have been classic FIFA. And that is what we're desperate for. Bailey's off the bench here. Unal will look for Bailey again. And Bailey hopefully will utilise this pace here. He's on his le favoured left foot. But square of me. What an interception. Cameron McLeod. 
How's he done that then? Mendy, Bailey, just trying to find the space to get the shot away. I don't know how we haven't scored a second there. That was the most obvious square the ball and tap it into the back of the net opportunity we've had all year. Just hold on, Tez. Christ alive, just hold on. We've got payback against Bayern. And we are so very close to getting payback against Moots and Gladbach as well. Bailey, for a second time, is away here. I could go for the cutback again. Probably should. He's balls it. Salio San tried a John Terry salmon esque dive. That's got to be game. Ref, please. Oh, I tell you what tastes sweeter than payback against Bayern. Double payback. Bayern and Borussia. Moots and Gladbach. We have Borussia Dortmund as the first game of the next episode. But that is a huge victory for us. On match day 23, I believe. It was indeed. And oh, Bayern haven't played yet. If Bayern don't pick up full points on match day 23, oh, which they do. Of course they do. So we've got three point gap. Then a further point to Wolfsburg. And then there's a big gap down to Dortmund. There's a nine-point gap to Borussia Dortmund now. So what was at times a six-horse race is now very much just a three-horse race. Eleven games to go. We're desperate to win that. We've got the cup on the horizon as well. Continentally. Domestically. And then... Oh, God! We're praying for a treble. But it all depends on how favourable the draw is. How well we can keep our form going. But at the moment, I feel confident enough that we will win something this season. But we've been in better positions, in bigger competitions, and come away with nothing in previous career modes, haven't we? So we won't get carried away. Dortmund first in the next one. But that is all from me for today. Do drop the video a like if you've enjoyed. Do subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on any more. Come and join me on stream and I'll see you next time.